Hi folks, Robin here and I'm back out with Kev this weekend. We're off on a biking hike into the Ben Alder Forest to bag four Munros. These uh, gates are not very cycle friendly, I just have to lift my bike over it. I'm just waiting on Kev, he's a wee bit slower, I took his uh, stabilizers off for him and he's just getting used to free wheeling. We've been going about 45-50 minutes now and we're about 6 kilometres away from Loch Patrick and we're on this new hydro track and whatever your, whatever your opinion is on hydro schemes uh, the tracks are really good for cycling on The jury's out I suppose but uh, yeah we're making good progress obviously slowing down doing little, bit of, uh, little bits of footage and that but I'm going to crack on So this is us uh, reached the hydro dam and uh, it is pretty ugly to be honest Building it into the natural rock there I mean once everything beds in I suppose I'll look better but I don't know Aye aye captain Just discovered we're on the wrong side of the dam We should be over there None of this is on the map yet though, so it's difficult to know This is where we made the mistake, we went over the big silver bridge there Instead, we wanted to take this older track here and keep River Patak on our left at all times So if you come this way as well, that's the way up to the dam That's the way up to Loch Patak So, let's go That's just on the other side of the dam now, but the track's just ended, so we must continue on over here, I hope. Once you get past the hydro scheme, you're on a, a more traditional Land Rover track with the, the bumpy grassy bit in the middle. And everything's starting to look a bit more well done now, since the Ben Older Hills there. Lock Patrick must just be over there somewhere because that is our first Munro there. You can see Ben Alder there. That must be Ben Beal. I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh, here's another cyclist coming up behind us. That's us on the shores of Lock Patrick now. So we haven't got far to go before we start hiking. But when you last see me vlogging at that bridge, after that the path, uh, the track is rubbish, it, uh, it goes all boggy and muddy, there's lots of ditches and holes you have to watch, the bike doesn't face plant you, it's a bit shit, <laughs> but um, as soon as you reach the lock it gets a lot better again, you're back on the Land Rover track, so there's a short section where it's just rubbish. Uh, uh, a fat bike would boss it, it would steamroller it, nay baller, but uh, What's the time, Kev? It's wrap o'clock, Miss Money. All about the wraps. The wrap of life. The wrap of life. It's full of love. That's us at the asbestos hut. Just locked the bikes up at the back. And we're heading up Karn Jerig. This here is the, the mighty Ben Older Forest. You've got Ben Alder itself, just there. Count is no less than eight tents down by the boffy. It's 
So, is this a false summit? Let's find out. It's looking good. No, it's a false summit. No. <laughs> Bollocks. Right, this has to be the summit. I don't think there's another false top on this. Let's have a look. I can see a cairn. Aye, there's a summit. I almost forgot to mention, Kevin has bought a new tent. He's never pitched it. This is its maiden pitch tonight. It'll be quite interesting to see how he gets on because obviously he's never pitched it before. It's actually quite sheltered here. I think we could find somewhere around here. Well, it has to be said, Kev, that is a good job you've done so far, mate. It's a not bad tent for the price. Not bad for the first pitch, either. I've not had much luck today, like. There was a big boulder that I pitched over, so I took it out. Now I've got a big hole underneath my ground sheet and every two seconds my elbow sinks into it so there is my hole of doom that my elbow kept dissipating into if you I've got a new piece of gear, I've got this lovely new pillow that I got out of Decathlon it is their helium pillow uh, I think it weighed about 170 grams if I remember rightly I'll put the weight at the bottom of the screen there but um, I'd been in a couple of times before and I picked up and had a look at it and I put it back but then Ray, Renegade Scott had one and he recommended it, so when I was back in the cafe I bought one. But Kev's been a weirdo, watch this. I'm watching you, I'm watching you. Not creepy at all. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I thought I'd just go for it. And I think sleep's important and a pillow gives you good sleep, so that's why I decided to get it. <clears throat> Evening campers, Kevin here. Robin's gave me his GoPro. He's been a bit lazy like, honestly. And he's bed already. Shocking behaviour by the way, absolute shocking behaviour. Says he's chilling, but he's no. It's a disgrace. Just had our tea. Clag's rolled in a bit. I'm certainly impressed with this tent. This cost, what, well, roughly about 70 odd quid from AliExpress. It's come from China. And it's pretty much the updated version of the Lanshan. It's a Flames Creed. The Apollo Creed. It's a funny one because you can also buy the same tent, a wee bit more expensive, on AliExpress, and it's called the 3FUL Pyramid Tent. But as you can see inside, there's a lot of room for the porch. The wee red light's flashing, what does that mean? So the sunset just behind this hill here and as predicted no sexy sunset Just our sexy faces So tomorrow we've got Gale Cairn but there's quite a lot of Gale Cairns around here That one over there is Gale Cairn There's a Gale Cairn over in the Dromocta Hills and that one so that's three and then there's one over in the Mona Lea which is over that way so four, all relatively close. Obviously the locals never had much imagination around here. 
Well, we've got a big mountain here. What should we call it? Uh, what about Gilcar? Nah, why no? We've already got another three of them bad boys. <laughs> Well, there wasn't much to set up for, so we both retired to our tents for the night. Don't know if you can hear it, but Kev's got his whale music on, or some sort of yoga meditation stuff. It's actually quite cool. Oh, is it just me, or do, do you end up getting these little toggles all twisted, and you kind of get your door out? Come on. I don't know how many times I've wrapped around the wrong way. You know the little toggles for holding up in the fly sheet or the, the outer door. <sighs> Yay, done it. It's like something out of the crystal maze. Well that's me guys, I'm off to bed. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning, campers. Good morning, campers. Oh, my. What time is it? Too early. Oh, it's only half five. I thought it was later than that. It's been dead calm all night, and then just out of nowhere, the wind's picked up again, and it's exposed my rubbish pitch. And it's flapping like a flappy thing. I don't know if you heard that, Kevin says this is nice and taut. Oh, could try and get our hour sleep or something. It's too noisy. On the plus side. This pillow was good. Really comfortable. Well that's us just on the move, it's just after 7 o'clock, I'll tell you something, it's really bloody cold, it's freezing, got a right northerly wind and it's just got a right bite to it, gloves on and everything. Just collected water from that stream there, 1000 metres high, crystal clear, no need to filter that, really nice. Summit's just up there, quite a broad plateau so navigation skills would be really required in the clag. arrived on the summit of Unach Peak. Had to think there. <laughs> it's clouding over a bit but uh, it's still pretty clear. Our next target is Ben Even and that's the last Monroe of the day. 
We're just at the Bialak between uh, Unuk Peak and Beniben. Beniben. Yes, we are. Just having a, a second breakfast before we head up. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And then this is our escape route. So we'll come back down here, and pick up that path, and the long walk back out to Kruer. No Kruer, Kura. And then pick up the bikes. Hope to God I've not got a puncture because that, that tire was spongy like. Ah, ah. We are pretty much on the summit of Ben Even, but this one is Twin Cairn. So there's this one, and just to fill along the ridge is that one along there. I reckon that one's the summit, so we'll have to visit both. That's us being out and back to the true summit. What I'm going to do is put the camera away just now because there could be some incoming rain and uh, I don't want to get a soak in. So I'll bring you back a cool Raboffy. That's me back on the path now. Kevin stopped for a job, he sees a wee bit behind. <laughs> But um, yeah, if you go west that way, that'll eventually take you to Kruer Station past Loch Ossian. We're heading east, it's going to take us up over that pass and back to Cool Raboffy. We're up there an hour ago, you come down here and what we've done is we followed the Walk Highland route and the Walk Highland route has you contouring around here and then dropping down and picking up the path here. Contouring is a bit of a pain in the arse to be honest, it goes for your ankles, but I suppose if you don't contour the other option is you sort of drop down and you're going to hit There's lots of peat hags there, so that'll be a pain in the arse as well, so contouring is probably the best option and this is the moment of truth that I'm dreading if I've got a flat tyre it's a long walk out it's looking alright visually uh, it is softer than it was yesterday I might, I might get out I think Kevin's got a pump I really do not want to have to walk this we've made it to Loch Patrick Bridge with my bike, it's holding out so far, touch wood. I'm just going to keep going and chancing it. Anyway, we're going to have a, a macro wrap before we head out. I'm going to sign out for now because I feel a bit deflated. Well done then. Anyway, thanks for watching, catch you next one. I'll give you £200 to do all that all over again right now. No, 200. Aye. I'll give you food.